Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to look at homologous series of organic compound. Homologous series, it's a group of all classes of related organic compound. Some of the related organic compounds that you're going to discuss is alkenes, then you're going to discuss the, the alkenes and later on you're going to discuss the alkynes. So, uh, we are going to discuss them one by one, starting with the naming of organic compounds. So, in naming of organic compounds, we are going to start with alkenes. And an alkene with one carbon atom is called methane. Its molecular formula is C4, uh, CH4, and the stem used is meth. The organic compound with two carbon atoms is its molecular formula is C2H6, it's known as ethane, and the stem used is eth. Organic compound with three carbon atoms, it's written as C3H8, the name of the alkene is propane, and the stem used in naming is prop. The one with four carbon atoms, it's written as C4H10, the name of the organic compound is butane, and the stem used is but. The name of an, the organic compound with five carbon atom is pentane. Its stem is pent and it's written as C5H12. The one with six hydrogen, uh, six carbon atoms, its name is hexane. It's written as C6H14 and the stem used is hex. The one with seven carbon atoms, it's written as heptane. Its name is, uh, its name is heptane. It's its chem molecular formula is C7H16 and the stem used is hept. Organic compound with eight carbon atoms is written as C8H18. The name is octane and the stem used is oct. The organic chem compound with nine carbon atoms is written as C9H20. The name is nonane and the stem used is non. The one with the ten carbon atoms it's C10H22, the name of the alkene is decane, and the stem used is DEC. So, in naming of organic compound, for example, the one that is stated there, we are going to start by looking at the, the longest chain of carbon. Where there are two similar molecules that are there, you use the prefix DI. That die for two, try for three, tetra for four. For example, the one that is shown in my display there, we have uh, two methyl groups at carbon number two, and then we have one methyl group at carbon number three. So we number the, the chain from the side that will give the branches the least number of carbon atoms. So the name of this organic compound is 223-trimethylpentane. Uh, 223-trimethylpentane. So this slide shows the homologous compound or homologous series of compounds together with their functional group. So for alkenes, the, the uh, general formula is C, CNH2N, and an example of an alkene is ethane, and its chemical formula is a C2 double bond, C2, CH2 double bond, CH2. For the halogen alkene, a halogen alkene is an alkene that is joined to a a halogen. A halogen could be a chloride group, could be a methyl group, or could be a bromide group. So halogen alkenes have a chemical general general formula of CN H2N plus one X. For example, chromomethane. Alcohols they have a functional group is ROH. The structure of functional group is ROH OH is the alcohol now so r is the the other group that is joined to oh so its general formula is cn h2n plus one oh for example methanol it's ch3 oh an aldehyde it's an 
its functional group uh, or its uh, structural functional group is R C double bond O H. So that the H the R group is the other group that is joined to the carbonyl C double bond zero O and then the H. So the general formula of aldehyde is CNH two N plus one CHO. An example of ald an aldehyde is ethanol. So ethanol CH three CHO. For ketones, the functional group or the structure of a ketone is R jointed to a C double bond O and then R. So for a ketone, there are two R groups at each side of the carbon oxygen bond. The general formula is CNH2N plus 1, CO, N, H2, N plus 1. An example is propanone. You can see in propanone, it has a methyl group joined to a carbon that is joined to an oxygen. Then it is joined to a, a CH3 group. So CH3 is a, an R group. Then we have carbon oxygen double bond. Then we have the CH3, which is another R group. The other functional or structure of the functional group of a carboxylic acid is R. C double bond O and then OH. Its general formula is CN H two N plus one C double bond H. An example is ethanoic acid. You could also have uh, methanoic acid. You could you could also have butanoic acid etc. So the structure of ethanoic acid. You know uh, uh, an organic molecule is an ethanoic or it's an carboxylic acid if it has that R carbon oxygen double bond and then an OH group. So it's generally written as CH3 COOH. The example is ethanoic acid. Then we have esters. Esters, they are sweet smelling substances. They have a structural formula of, of uh, R, C, O, C double bond O, R. So an example of an ester is propyl ethanoid. Yes, so here we are lastly looking at the homologous series and then you give an example of its structural formula and the skeletal formula. So for the alkene is, uh, the example is but 2 in. So 2 in shows the position of the double bond. The double bond gives structure of uh, alkene and its structural formula is as displayed in my slide there. Halogen alkenes, an example is 2 chloropropane and it is as displayed in that group. Then we have alcohols and uh, an example is butan 1 or all or OH is at carbon number 1. Aldehydes, we say that it has an R group joined to a as carbon oxygen bond then joined to a to a H. So an example of aldehyde is butanol as displayed there. The ketone, for example, butanone, CH3, CO, CH2, CH3. Carboxylic acid, for example, butanoic acid is CH3, CH2, CH2. And it, at its end, you have COOH group. So that's a butanoic acid. Then you have an ester like ether propanoid. Amine, uh, for example, butyl amine, CH3, CH2, CH2, 2, NH2. So NH2 re represents the amine group. Then you have nitrile, for example, butan nitrile, which is CH3. CH2, CH2, CN. For the nitrile group, at the end, you have a triple bond joined to an N. And the carbon from CN group joins the carbon, lengthening the chain. So that is another one. So here we have displayed formula and the skeletal formula of benzene. So that's the benzene ring. It's made of six carbon atoms. And the, there are double bonds between 
them. So this displayed formula of benzene ring or benzene is as shown above for for the skeletal formula i show a circle to 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 show that the bonds uh, yes there are carbon double bond between there is a double bond between a carbon and a carbon but then the lone pairs overlap and the one unpaired electron is throughout the ring so in naming the benzene ring we have methyl benzene so methyl benzene showing that the the methyl group is at carbon number one. So we can have one two dimethyl benzene showing that the methyl group is at a carbon number one and carbon number two. One four dimethyl benzene when you have a methyl group at carbon number one and also carbon number four. So that marks the end of our slide today and I will continue discussing with you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.